I'm uh, Bill Halland. I have a small, little tiny farm. Uh, I'm kind of on the west side of the David Mesa as it wraps around from Louisville into Lafayette, so kind of west of uh, Walmart there. So, so in 2007, 2007 I had a uh, small field that had a giant hole in the middle. It was probably a six feet deep swale and it was very hard to irrigate and I bought some gated pipe and I just wanted to put it here. I didn't want to spend enough to do the whole thing. So I thought, you know, I'm going to level this. So let's look at the next slide. I uh, leveled the field over the winter and uh, this is where the soil site eventually happened. Uh, so I pulled a lot of dirt from up here down here. So this area tended to have a lot more subsoil. So when we started talking about having a soil project, I thought that'd be a fun place to study because it's starting out as pretty bad dirt and we'll see if we can improve it. Let's look at the next slide. Uh, <clears throat> after I planted it a few years later, it looked like this. I'd started out with alfalfa, I had about 10 years of alfalfa in that field, and then uh, it started to get smart, uh, sparse, I interceded it with some grass, and <clears throat> that pretty much took over. Next slide. Uh, this is what it looks like now, a little snow bunny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a lot of snow. A lot of them disappeared today. Next slide. So uh, my neighbor is a, uh, a great gal and her nephew is an arborist. He was taking his wood chips to Lublin because it was free to dump in there. And I said, well, why are you doing that? I could try to use them on my field. So he's been dumping them up uh, <clears throat> in a corner and I have a, a bucket here. It's three yards uh, struck, five yards heaped. Next slide. So I can put four loads in, and uh, according to literature, that would be the weight. I think maybe wood chips are a little lighter in Colorado because they're not so wet, but <clears throat> I could put that on the field. Next slide. And so here I am spreading it out. Next slide. And I put it on fairly thickly last year. Next slide. You might uh, wonder if uh, this is going to squash the grass and suffocate it. Next slide. But here's a, here it is a month later, and it popped right up through it. So. The soil sample site is where this little flag is way down here. Next slide. Now, no one ever said that Elizabeth was uh, short on data and paper. <laughs> <laughs> I have all these reports. And I was trying to look at them and oh, what happened in this particular thing and I, and over the time? And I couldn't figure it out. It was very time consuming to go through all this stuff. So let's look at the next slide. I made a cumulative spreadsheet. That I, so I have it, her data on uh, various columns, and I also put in uh, what I have added to the field. So, like, here's my wood chip row in tons per acre, some nitrogen that I put on, some phosphate, and some sulfur that I added. Uh, and also got an annual rainfall from my weather station. Um, <coughs> next slide. slide. So, uh, here's the effect of adding some sulfur at that one point. The pH. Uh, kind of went down for a little bit, but that seems to be going back up. Um, the uh, organic soil matter seems to be increasing year by year, so I'm making some progress there. Uh, the water tractable organic carbon is looking good. Uh, and the soil respiration last year was just huge. Uh, I think that's where I got a certificate from. So, so um, <coughs> I'm going to show you my secret. That's, that's what that's for. That's for. for. Yeah, yeah, next, next slide. Next slide. My carbon is so microbiologically active that it's running at 200%, 200% of 100%. So <laughs> this is the calculated figure. So <laughs> it shouldn't be more than 100, but it happens to be just an artifact of what they used to make that figure. Uh, our nitrogen level was high here after I had added some nitrogen. Um, <clears throat> and the inorganic nitrogen uh, is not too bad. Next slide. Can't seem to get uh, an organic reserve of nitrogen left. You know, I'm adding so much wood and stuff that needs to be digested, it's probably just eating a lot of the nitrogen out. Next, Next slide. slide. <coughs> the phosphorus uh, that I added here, I did empirically. I'd had alfalfa in there for 10 years and I'd never done anything and never had a, set, a, a soil <coughs> sample taken, so I just added some and it was too much. So my levels are a little bit high. The uh, remaining things are relatively normal. Next slide. <coughs> now, you know, um, I had a nice 
biomass of health organisms in 2019, and then ever since then we've seen everything is going down. Uh, bacteria, <coughs> gram-positive bacteria are going away, gram-negative bacteria are going away. Next slide. And the same thing with almost everything. Uh, the protozoa just disappeared in this last two assays. And Elizabeth and Lance have been working a lot to try and figure out what's going on. It, it sounds, sounds like there's an oven that he uses to process the specimens, but it's probably too hot, I guess. <coughs> and it's cooking them. Maybe. Or not hot enough. Oh, it's not hot enough. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I wonder why that makes the organism seem to disappear. But. Hmm. Well, hopefully, we'll, are they going to retest any of our stuff? Or just, yes. Okay. So maybe we'll get some more results. Yeah. Next slide. So um, I went out last week and dug up a little piece of dirt. Uh, I think you can see, maybe you can see, that about the first four inches now are beginning, beginning to form really nice topsoil. Uh, and the subsoil is kind of like this stuff down here. And even below that, there's a little bit of that trickling down. So I think I've really uh, improved the top layers of the soil so far. Next slide. Oh, and here's, here's my secret. The secret, secret is the wheel. Let me, Let me tell, tell you what happens. happens. Next, Next slide. slide. <laughs> Every night I saddle up the pygmy ponies. <laughs> and guess what? Next slide. We run down here to the flag and we wee on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, uh, the dirty, dirty more slide. slide. No. Oh, no, no, no. If, if I, I talk, talk too long, long, I get the hook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I get the hook. Oh, that's in 2007, you know. Less wrinkles, kind of the same hair. India Peak West doesn't have any trees. It's full of trees now. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine that they decompose. They might be more acidic, but I don't know. 